one, go! Welcome to Qualification Match 32 here at the Typical New event. We have lots of high-ranking teams in this match, so I would not be surprised if we have an epic Auton and plenty of robot-on-robot -robot contact throughout the match. 1024 able to successfully hover one cone, ready for placement in the grid as the students enter tele -op. That bell means we've entered the period where students now control their robot, 4926, to be lining it over to their station where they can interact with their human player. He's placing a cone and getting ready to deliver that onto the field. 829 doing the same, but was successful with that quick handoff, already with a cone ready for placement in their grid. 135, their alliance member on the red alliance grabbing a cube from across the field and making their way back to the red grid. 4229 now successfully hovering that cone over to their grid, placing it looks like in their center successfully for three points for their alliance. Team 1747, that's Harrison Boiler Robotics picking up a cube from their human player station within their loading zone. Remember, for most of the time during the match, those loading zones are protected for robots entering if they are not of the color they're protecting. 461 with a cone in its possession, ready to place it onto the top of their grid, doing so successfully in record time. Keeping these quick and snappy is the name of the game this year, minimizing the time from picking up a piece to placing it in your grid. Just over a minute remains in the match with the score 66 to 68. Plenty of time still left to change that, especially in the end game. 1024, that's Kilobytes looking to place a cone in the center of their grid. Successfully doing that makes them one place closer to a link. Remember, a link is three horizontal pieces in the grid. They need five of those in order to get the additional ranking point. Only four now because both teams work together to fill the cooperation part, part of their grid. 829 already lined up on their charge station. Not quite level. They're probably waiting for their opponent. 1747 doing the same. Plenty of time remaining in the match for them to gain additional points for their team. It's still neck and neck. Red Alliance is making a good effort to balance their charge station. The Blue Alliance is doing the same. We'll have to see if any of them are able to sneak on three robots. It looks like the Red Alliance might do it, but there's only a little bit of time remaining in the match. Three, two, one, and that's game. The Red Alliance unable to successfully blounds. The Blue Alliance is sitting pretty. We'll have to see how these scores total up. Here are your scores, qualification match 32. And the winners are your Blue Alliance. With a score of 114 to 106, the difference was made in those charge station points for this match.